to our YouTube channel. Today you'll be learning how we make our quick and easy apple crumble. At the end of the video, there'll be a few tips and tricks for you to take along with the recipe used today in the description below. That's enough of the talking, let's get cooking. Now we have our apron on and apples washed, we will now get these peeled and ready for our next step. Now all of our apples are peeled, we are going to decor them and cut them into size. Depending on how you like your crumble, you may want to cut them into a certain size. If you like a more softer and pureed compote with less bite to it, I would suggest cutting them smaller, and vice versa if you would like larger chunks. So now our apples are peeled and prepped, we have our first tub here which we're going to cook down into a puree and then we've got a second lot of apples which we're going to add in later. First we're going to make a caramel using sugar, then we're going to add our apple juice to our liquid and then finally we'll be adding in some vanilla. When making a caramel, it's important to lay the sugar out in an even layer. This will help the caramel cook evenly. And we'll spread the sugar out in a nice even layer. Just give the little pan a shake. Once your sugar is in the pan and the heat turned up, it would be a good idea not to leave this as it won't take long for the caramel to burn. Once the caramel does start to form, we can just carefully swirl the pan around helping the caramel catch the other parts of sugar, helping it form into one even and nice looking caramel. You can give this a stir to make sure there are no clumps of sugar that have formed. Once our caramel is ready, we can add our first batch of apples. We can stir this really well and incorporate the mix fully with the caramel. You might find that the temperature is going to drop and a lot of the caramel may stick to your spoon. Don't worry about this, just leave your spoon in the centre of the pan and let the caramel melt off. Now our compote is cooked down, part crushed and pureed, our second lot of apples can be added. We're just going to stir this mix well. And then we're going to add our apple juice. Once your compote comes back to a gentle simmer, add your vanilla. Feel free to grab a piece of apple and just grab a small paring knife and just cut the apple to see how soft it is. This will determine how much longer you're going to cook the compote for. For me personally, a good apple crumble should have the best of both worlds. A soft compote with jam-like consistency, but also some texture and bite to it. I make sure I get this by not overcooking the compote and taking it off the heat early, roughly 3 to 5 minutes. This will allow for the residual heat to finish cooking your mix. 
Another tip, if you accidentally leave the mix on too long and feel you may have overcooked them, just carefully pour the mix out onto a wide flat tray and leave to cool. So now we have our compote, we're on to our second part of the recipe. Adding our flour, our demerara sugar, our ground almonds, and last our unsalted butter, cut into small pieces, and as you can see, at room temperature. Mix all together and using your fingertips to massage the butter into the dry mix. As the mix forms, you can try rubbing the mix between your palms. This helps incorporate the butter into your flour and sugar more evenly, leaving you with a nice coarse texture and look before baking. Once all our crumbled top is incorporated nicely, we can start to bake. When placing the mix into the tray, be sure to spread it out, this will help it cook evenly. While the crumble is cooking, we can weigh our seeds out. You can use any mix of seeds. Here we have pumpkin seeds, blue poppy seeds, and linseeds. After five minutes of baking, you can see the edges are slowly starting to colour. We just want to bring them in off the sides and stir into the mix before going back into the oven. And just chop any larger lumps out, just to break up and make them uniform with the rest of the mix. Now after 10 minutes, you can see the top of the mix is starting to colour nicely. Stir the mix again and simply place back in the oven. So now the mix has been in the oven for a total of 15 minutes and isn't looking far off. We will now add our mixed seeds and place back in the oven for a final time. Give this another stir, just bringing in the crumble top away from the sides. After 20 minutes of baking, our crumble top is looking great in colour, texture and smell. As this is an unbaked apple crumble, you can make yourself a portion at any time and however big you like. Just simply heat up your compote mix, ideally in a pan or failing that in a microwave and place in your bowl. Sprinkle a good handful of your mixed seeded crumble top over your compote, not forgetting to add your bit of indulgence of either ice cream, cream or custard. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video beneficial, feel free to follow us to keep up to date with any upcoming recipes, tips and tricks.